There have already been so many awesome whiskeys, bourbons, great delicious ryes that have been released in 2024, but there are so many more coming. Yeah, I can't wait to see what this year has in store for us in the bourbon rye whiskey world. Scotch even. There's been some even scotch. There's even been some great scotch. But we've been scouring the internet. We kinda like to do this often, actually all the time. But we look at like coming whiskey on Instagram if you guys have ever followed that page or like Breaking Bourbon has a release calendar. It's mostly just everybody kind of keeping an eye out on like the TTB labels that come out. And there have been some really, really interesting ones so far yep. for this year. We've, we've scoured all of those different places and came up with a list of whiskeys that we want. We're, we're really looking forward to this year, whether it's actually getting a bottle or just trying it at a bar. These are ones that we want to try so bad. I'm excited. I can't wait. Like, yep. especially some of them have actually already come out since we decided to record this video. Yeah, there may be one or two of those. Yeah, but that's a, it doesn't matter. So they're on our list. So let's start this list. Let's get into it. And by the way, leave a comment if this is a bottle you're excited about. So anytime we tell you a bottle that's coming out that you've seen or you're interested in, let us know. Yep. Of course, we always want the BTAX, the Pappies, yep. those yep. things. We want to try those. We would love to actually own one. We don't. We don't own any. They're we not own, on this list. We own zero, but they are not on this list. So why don't you kick us off with the first kick one us on off the list? Is one that actually just recently got released. It's the Heaven Hill 18. I gotta pull up on my phone to read some of this information about it, but it's supposed to be 120 proof according to the label. And then it is a, their, their typical mash bill. But then it says Rickhouse site, Bernheim, aging locations, I don't know what that says, 7i, third floor. I don't know what that is. I'm looking forward to that. And hopefully hopefully we can get to try it, get a bottle. I mean, granted, we're gonna say that every time, so I'm gonna try not to say it every time. But yes, the the Heaven Hill Heritage Collection, 18 the year. 18 year. We've had some interesting stuff that's around 18 years old from Heaven Hill that has been good. All right, let's move on to the next one. And the next one is also from Heaven Hill. It's actually the next two. We're, we're gonna stay grouped with Heaven Hill. Yep, we're staying grouped. So we're trying to keep these in yep. their little families, but the next one is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, the B524, and of course the C924. No matter what, we're always gonna buy these. It doesn't matter yeah, what age they are, it doesn't matter what proof they are, we're not gonna be going crazy over the age of the proof on these Elijah Craig Barrel Proof bottles, especially at the price. They're always gonna, if they stay around that, what, 70 to yeah. 90 dollar price point there's not much to say it's elijah craig barrel proof the, the series we're gonna buy them we're gonna look them for them uh-huh that's that that's that done drop the mic and we're done bye on to the next okay but the next one i think is interesting to me i don't know especially because i put this on the list no i put it on the well, list. i put it on the list. well i'm not sure if you really would even like this i know one. that i, I want to try it though so what is it it's the elijah craig toasted rye i love toasted bourbon. Mm -hmm. I love Elijah Craig toasted. I think there are some better Elijah Craig. I mean, I think there are some better toasted bourbons out there than the Elijah Craig toasted, but I think it's good overall. Now add in toasted rye to the mix. I'm very interested, especially with that extra added spice and pizzazz. I cannot wait to try it. I don't know if I like it, but I want to try it. So that's really what it comes down to. Cause like, I, I really wanted that Jack Daniels from last year, the toasted twice barreled or whatever it was rye. I didn't like it. That's so yeah. That's all it was. <laughs> <laughs> all right. On to the next. On to the next uh, one. It's the last one from uh, Heaven Hill is the Parker's Heritage 18th edition, I believe. Yeah. Um, we haven't seen a TTB label or anything for that one, but it's Parker's and we know we want it and want to try it. We know that there's going to be a Parker's yep. Heritage release this year based on the like release calendar. Yep. We don't know what the specifics of that are, but it's... I mean, the last few years have been really good. See what it is. Yeah, I can't wait. The next few, actually the next handful on the list come from our probably favorite distillery in Kentucky. One of our favorites, yes. One of our favorite distilleries in Kentucky, and that is Russell's 15 year. I had to look at my list because I was like, there's like so many on this list. So obviously there's going to be a Russell's Reserve 15 year coming out. I cannot wait for that. Yep. Yep. Does there, we have much information on that one. Let me find, I see could, if I can find that label for us. I couldn't see. Yeah, I saw uh, it, but it I couldn't remember what it Limited said. Limited 2024 release, non-chill filtered, 117.2 proof. So yeah, that's, that's what kind of what there is about the Russells. Yeah. Okay, the next thing coming from Russell's Reserve, well, from Wild Turkey. The <laughs> next thing coming from Wild Turkey is the Russell Single Rick House. This is going to be a Camp Nelson B. Yep, matured on floor six, Camp Nelson B. 
Then, so as you know, we haven't bought any of the um, Russell sing single rig houses. We tried them; they are pretty pricey on that that aspect. Yes. But we know for sure we'll at least try this one, and then it could be a buy for us. We just don't know. We'll definitely try a pour out a bar. Oh yeah, because yep. that's the smartest decision, especially when it comes down to something that expensive and something that you might be able to have a chance to buy because a lot of people are passing because it is so expensive. Yeah, the, the first release of it was all right. We didn't like it as much. The second release was awesome. So good. We, I really didn't end up buying a bottle. I wanted to buy a bottle of that so badly. Like it was one of my top whiskeys of last year, but it's just too expensive. Yep. So. so then we got the final Russells that's on the list. This is a funny one because I added this here. I really want to try this. Is that new Russell's 10 honey infused straight bourbon. I don't know why I want to try it. It, it We'll see how it is, but I'm just curious more than anything. It's just weird to me. I know. I'm just curious. I, I want to see it. I am not a big honey finished fan. If you know me, you know I don't love it. I think it's... We haven't had too much honey finish. We've had a couple. I just, and... it's too sweet for me. But if it comes with some spice, like if it's a spicy honey, yep. maybe if it was like a honey finished rye, I might be more interested. I don't know. We'll see how Anyways, it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying it. The next thing on the list is still part of the wild turkey family, and that is the wild turkey master's keep. What is that one? Triumph. 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 I don't even know. Is that a is that a rye? Let's. I think it's a rye. I think it is a rye. Oh, let's see if I can find that label here for us. Oh, there it is. Master Keep. It's a ten year. Uh, yep, straight rye whiskey. Straight. Ten year straight rye whiskey. That'll be interesting. I think that after last year, a lot of people kind of feel a little bit burned. Oh, from Voyage. Yeah, yeah. from Voyage, because yeah. that was the rum finished one. Right? Yes, yeah, it was a rum finish, and then before that, I think it was Unforgotten, which was really good. That The Burai, brewery, yeah. that was really good. I think people felt burned on the voyage because the price went up on it, yeah. and it, like, for example, and, for us, we liked the Bargetown four square rum yeah, finish better. Yeah. But I, going back to Master's Keep, the, I think it's the Cornerstone rye, mm -hmm. uh, that one was awesome. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what Triumph's gonna be like with uh, the 10 year rye. So that's all the wild turkey we have. On to the next stop. Where what? are we going? Let's go to the beam train. Going to beam. Beep, 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 beep. And on this beam train, we are not going to be stopping at any of those little boxes that you might be seeing. No, it's no book. It's your little book. It's <laughs> Knob Creek 10 Year Rye. So I'm looking forward to that one because uh, I love the Knob Creek. Uh, this is a 12 year, the 100 proof 12 year bourbon. So they're doing the same thing with the 10 year rye excited <laughs> <laughs> this guy is excited well i want to talk about the one i'm excited about from jim beam and that is the knob creek boo rye yeah and i thought i saw you pulled up the label a minute ago and i think that was like 110 111 100 probably, something proof. i could probably get it all right so this boo rye it says it is a nine year old kentucky straight bourbon whiskey 30 percent 70 percent kentucky straight rye aged seven years okay it is a 113 proof notes of vanilla, caramel, and pepper. Sounds so, right up my sounds alley. Sounds delicious. It sounds yeah. fantastic. Yep. So yeah, that's. I think that's everything we have from Knob Creek, isn't it? From Jim Beam, yep. Or, yeah, Knob Creek. Oh, Knob I guess Creek, they both were Jim. Knob Creek. But they were Jim both Beam. Knob Creek, yep. <laughs> All right, the next one on the list comes in from Jack Daniels. We got some Tennessee whiskey up in here. And one everybody's been photoshopping and going crazy about is the Jack Daniels 14 year. 14, yes, yes. We love the Jack Daniels 10 year. We love the 12 year. This year, we especially love the 10 year over the 12 year. Last year, it was the 12 year over the 10 year. So the 14 year, amazing. And then I've seen like labels for even older stuff that could be coming in the future. Yeah, yeah, I think was it Jack Daniels used to have like an 18 and a 20 something and so I'm wondering if they're kind of coming back to that so if they come out with older stuff I'm, I'm excited because the those Jack Daniels limited releases of the 10 and 12 have just been so good amazing amazing so amazing they actually finished yep. last year finished second in yep. their top whiskey of the year so it's really really freaking good yep Yep, and staying at Jack Daniels our next on the list is the uh, special release Koi Hill so that one, that one had kind of the internet up in arms because the TTV label had uh, 80 proof on it. 
I don't think it's going to be 80 proof. I think it was just a placeholder. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's going to be that 140 ish proof that all these other Koi Hills have been or the small batch ones that they had at Sillery that were like 150. Um, but yeah, Koi Hill, I am not turning that down and I'm finding one when I can find one. <laughs> oh my gosh. We literally got so lucky to yeah. actually get one because we won it in a raffle, yep. but we have never, I've never actually seen Koi Hill on a shelf. I think of yep. all the. No, like, I've cons- seen it. It was like 700 bucks. Oh, I don't but, think I've ever yep. seen it on a shelf. So crazy. May the odds be ever in all of our favors yeah. trying to find that one. I think that's going to happen a lot with this list, but you never know. Yep. So what is the next one on the list? We're, we're sticking with the Brown Foreman family, but not a Jack Daniels. We're going over to Old Forester. Ooh. So we got, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bat off two here. They're two of the um, warehouse, set, or was it the, the 117s? Uh, we have the Rum Finished and the High Angel Share. Those come in those smaller bottles. Yeah, yeah. The uh, High Angel Share I know is a bourbon. Uh, yeah, the Old Forester 117 series rum finished is a, is a bourbon finished in rum cast. I don't know. Does it say which where they're finished? I don't think so. Um, hopefully it's a uh, um, Barbados rum and not a Jamaican rum. But you never know. Don't judge the I rum know. by I'm the just, cover. I'm just saying. Hopefully it's a Barbados. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to trying that. Granted, I usually do like my rum finishes in a rye than a bourbon, but. Who knows? I want to try it. I'm excited for that one. And then the High Angel Share, it should be really yep. good. The we, last one that we tried was really good. Yep. The next one on the list, well, this one, I don't know how it's going to get better than it did last year because last year's was so good. And that is the Four Roses LE. Last year was that 135th anniversary edition. <sighs> we actually got a bottle of, and it is, seriously, it finished as one of, the, it would have been one of the best bourbons of the year if we would have actually had it at the yep. time. Yep. But we got it after we did our yep, bourbon we got of it the earlier. year earlier in 2024 Mm -hmm. (laughs) so it's fantastic it is so darn delicious but i cannot wait to see what happens this year because it's like so hard to top and i'm a big four roses fan i think that most of what they put out actually everything they put out is something i like Mm -hmm. so that's what i gotta say about that all right next on the list this is this is her her wish here it's not something i want to try (laughs) <laughs> oh, what? This is just like Great, that Elijah. I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I just don't know if I'll like it. Well, it's just like that Elijah Craig toasted rye that yep. you, I wasn't sure if you would like, but this is something I definitely am excited for. And that is the peerless toasted rye. Yep. Which you said it might be out already. I think it might be out yeah. already. I did see someone with a photo of it, yeah. but it might just be at the distillery. I don't know, but I love peerless and I love everything that they put out. Everything I try from peerless is so freaking good. I haven't had anything I didn't like yet. So minus the absinthe was a little more finished, but that's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's another story. <laughs> but yeah, the peerless, I mean, peerless toasted rye, I'm excited. We'll see what happens. If we get, I would like to just try it at least. All right, before we get to our last two on the list, what are some whiskeys you are looking forward to this year? Like what are your favorites that you're, you're looking forward to? Let us know in the comments. And while you're doing that, while you're commenting, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, go check out our Patreon because we are doing a barrel pick. It's coming soon. You guys can check it out. You'll be the first to know when it's gonna be released. You get to see behind the scenes content of as we go pick the barrel and everything like that. So be sure to check that out. Help support us as you can. We really do appreciate you. Now, and let's... If you're, before that, if you're watching this two years in the future, sorry the barrel isn't there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's get back to the last two on the list. Which which one are you most excited for? Because there's two Let, no, really, No, we're, really... we're going to do the first one first, and we're going to save that last one on the list for last. All right, If all that right. even makes any sense. So <laughs> the, 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 the penultimate bottle here, let's just put it that way. Go to Formula One in British terms. Penultimate <laughs> is the Penelope Havana. Havana. So it, it's, I think it's bourbon finished in Cuban rum, and I'm I'm excited to try it and and see what it's gonna be like. Is it gonna be as polarizing and as crazy as Rio? I don't know. Maybe. But I'm looking forward to, to seeing what that's gonna taste like. I did like the Rio, and I know you did like yep. it after you did it in that blind. It, it's 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 just not my. You know, Am, Amurana is not my thing. I lo- love rum though. So that's where the Penelope Havana I'm looking forward to. And I like the Miami Vice vibes. I know. Um, the label um, yeah. actually looks really freaking cool. Yep. So yep. I'm so excited for that one. I can't wait. I know that Penelope is probably like, oh my gosh, here comes another crazy bottle release. And everybody's going to be knocking our door down saying, can we get a bottle of that? How do we get a bottle of that? You well, go to the store and buy it. I want a bottle of that. <laughs> I'm going to be hunting it down like all of y'all. So... May the odds be ever in your favor. This is like Hunger Games for whiskey. 
Everything's hard game through whiskey. <laughs> it really is. So, so the last bottle on our list, I think, is the one we are most looking forward to. Like, of everything on this list, we want this bottle. I feel like it's a bottle some people don't even realize what it is. Yes. I think some so, people don't want the bottle. What is the bottle? The bottle is Orphan Barrel Indigo's Hour. It is, what, 18 years Yes. Old? I'm going to pull that up to make sure I get this right. Indigo's <laughs> Hour is... Drum roll. It is an 18-year-old... Uh, bourbon. It says produced in Indiana, Kentucky, blended and bottled by Orphan Barrel Whiskey Company in Tullahoma. So I believe this is 18 year old MGP. If it's finished, it's Sitzel Weller and of course bottled by Orphan Barrel in Tullahoma. So that's my understanding of what this is. I could be completely wrong. Sorry if that's the case, but I really want this bottle. It is not Dickel. Yep. The, yep. There's nothing in it that says Dickel. And this one is out now. We've seen them. We haven't seen them in Denver, but I've seen photos online of them. So we will find one. We are going to find And we will one of get those. it and we will drink it just like we it's do. It's going to be with those other orphan barrels because we love orphan barrels. We barrel. love. There's <laughs> nothing better than aged like MGP, aged Stitzel Weller, like all aged of that. Aged everything. Aged everything is so good. Yep. But there are some really good younger bottles too. So, but I'm so excited. And that label looks badass. Yeah, the label looks awesome. So yeah, that's that's the one we are most looking forward to this year. What is the one on this list that you guys are most looking forward to? Because there's there's quite a few things that are still coming, and obviously there's going to be more things that we don't know about yep. that pop up throughout the year. But let us know what you're most looking forward to on this list, and if there's one we missed, let us know that too. I'm always curious to see what you guys see that we don't see, because sometimes I miss stuff, and I'm like, yep. shoot, how did I miss that? So. Let us know, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you, we love you, we're grateful for you. I'm Dara. I'm Bill. And we'll see you next time right back here on The Average Drinker. Goodbye. <laughs>